Uh, what I'm studying in particular is uh, children with Wilms tumor, one of the most common kidney cancers in kids. Uh, what's really interesting is we have actually very good outcomes for these patients. Unfortunately, for a subset of these patients, there's one part of their genome that's massively amplified and it's not clear what's going on. And uh, you know, over the last 15, 20 years, what we've learned over and over is that when that region is amplified and overexpressed, that the outcomes are worse. And we just don't have a good explanation for why that's happening. And so that's the premise of my project. It's actually to understand what's going on there. Uh, we've been very fortunate uh, through the National Cancer Institutes as well as many sequencing centers across the country that we've been able to do a lot of sequencing within Wilms tumor patients in particular. And so we have a lot of data that still needs to be analyzed. And so my project is actually looking at that region that's amplified or overexpressed and trying to see are there specific genes that might be involved in why um, some patients with Wilms tumors don't have as good as outcomes as we, as we would like. Uh, and so uh, that's the thrust of my project. And the next part of the project is trying to develop new Wilms tumor cell lines. You know, it's interesting, when we think about cancer research, a lot of the data comes from our ability to generate information from cell lines that we can grow over and over on plastic. But the problem for Wilms tumor in particular is that we just don't have these models at this time. And uh, it's not for a lack of effort. There's a lot of smart people working on it and, uh, and there continues to be a lot of smart people working on it. It's just, it's been a tough problem to solve. And in collaboration with a lot of really smart folks across the country, we're trying to work out ways if we can try to see, can we grow normal kidney cells as well as the tumor kidney cells and then compare those two. And if we can, use that knowledge that we got from sequencing and then look at that with these cell lines that we're growing. Uh, and all this at the end of the day is trying to figure out, you know, are there drugs and medicines that we could use to wipe away that difference? So right now, if we think about a patient with Wilms tumor, when they come into the clinic, we usually tell them, okay, we have very good outcomes and we have some great treatments we can offer you. And for those that have this amplification or overexpression of this one area of their genome, uh, you know, we hypothesize that it seems like there's a, almost a 17% 17 17 difference in event-free survival and almost a 10% difference in overall survival. What if, you know, with this research over time, we're able to find medicines that can wipe away that difference? And that's an overarching goal of my project. I'm extremely grateful to Cure Search. This Young Investigator Award is such a, it comes at a critical time in my career. So as I've just finished my fellowship, you know, it's, it's an exciting time to learn so much in pediatric oncology and the research, but it's also been extremely tough as we see our government having to be very uh, judicious with its NIH funding. And as a result, you know, a lot of my colleagues are finding it very difficult to find funding. And so this funding is helping me to launch my career and really learn and most importantly hopefully be able to give back to these patients that we get to take care of every day.